This is kind of a weird spot because we've just got this like tiny stack here. But I don't really want to just be going all in pre flop with King 8 suited. Like, I don't really think there's much point. But I will just shove now if he bets out. Yeah, I guess I'll just shove here. Hopefully, he doesn't snap me. Oh, he does. Okay, he's probably got an over pair. Yeah, aces. Whatever, I'll run it twice. Okay, so I've got uh, ace king here. This guy's only sitting on 50 odd blinds, but I'll still just open three, uh, not open, three bets of three X size in here. Okay, that's really good flop. Just gonna go for a 30% uh, C bet here. I like the fact that he calls quickly. He definitely could have some, some weaker ace X here. So, I uh, keep betting. I think just going for 30% again is good. Okay, and um, we, we do end up getting the fold on the turn. Maybe he just had like pocket eights or something that wanted to call that one bet on the flop. Oh, wow, really nice one here. I ended up just calling uh, from the button with fours, and I've obviously got the absolute nuts here. So pretty pretty nice flop just gonna be calling what would be good is if he has some you know uh, ace of clubs here or something I suppose when he just checks the turn I'll just go for a small size in here hope to you know hopefully he's like checking over with an ace and then go for a check raise or something now doesn't it looks like he just completely missed the board there so end up taking down a small pot so I'm just three-handed on this table. Sevens, I think I'll just go for a call against a strong player. Okay, so it's not a bad flop. You know, he's not going to necessarily be pressing all the kings that hard when he just opens from the button because it's it's like he's going to have a lot wider range than he would from, you know, under the gun, etc. I imagine, okay, I do just see a check here. Gonna lead out now for half pot. Hope to get a call from uh, an ace high or something, if like a strong ace maybe, if he thinks I've, I've got some weaker ace floats. But he does just fold. On that board, you know, my only sort of floats there are gonna be stronger aces and some, some suited hands. So yeah, I, it was gonna be hard to get value when he just checks the turn. Okay, we've got aces here. Hopefully, can get some action. Going to be opening this one up. We've got quite a weak player in the big blind as well, which is always a good thing. Damn, don't get any action. That's not something you like with aces. Ace jack though, another hand. This guy, he, he keeps limping from like under the gun early positions and stuff. So obviously, we want to be raising with ace jack. I don't want to let. You know the big blinds have have a flop here and stuff. Thing is, him limping, he will have like some some pocket pairs and stuff. Gonna check again, and it looks as though he's probably not got a lot here. But I will go for seventy five percent sizing. Hopefully, he has a pair and just calls. Threes, nice. Yeah, that's what I thought. Gonna have like a, a low pocket pair when he's just limping. Have called the king seven off, especially against you know this player. Been really nitty, so this does sort of worry me when if he starts betting out like really big here. Like, see, I'm really not liking this to be honest, but I just can't fold this at the moment. But I may make like a tighter decision on the river depending on what he does. This is kind of annoying. In theory, I've just got a call, but I just really think he's got like a king queen or something here. Like this guy's just been playing really tight. Tempted to make a tight fold, but he could have some, some weaker kings, so I will call. Ace queen. Okay, nice. Maybe I was overthinking that one. Just because he's like been really tight and like hasn't been bluffing at all that I started to, you know, think about it more, but I, you know, it it was just one where I just couldn't really fold on the river. Got a nice hand here, heads up. He opened and we just called with the twos. 
hopefully we can see some aggression from him here you know it's a fairly dry board so it's it's something that he can keep barreling on yeah so he goes for half pot size in here on this board texture i will just call damn that's a bit annoying we do see a check it's possible that he's just picked up a jack here i am going to check again though hopefully he bets this one on the river and then i can raise hope to not see you know a check here hopefully he's got an ace and then wants to get some value if, if he thinks i've got a queen or something and you know if he bets now and then i raise he could be thinking well this looks something like queen 10 like something like queen 10 i could easily do this so he definitely could look me up here with like a, an ace or something or especially if he's got you know two pair ace jack that would be really nice gonna go for quite a big size in here i think with the raise hope he can look me up here thing is i'm definitely gonna have some straights and stuff but you'd think something like nine ten might be check raising that flop king 10 yeah i mean hopefully he looks me up it could i could definitely be like a, a jack 10 queen 10 from holding a nine something like that that i'm doing here so yeah i can imagine heads up this guy looking me up to be honest he's quite a strong player so yes nice he does cool ace eight yes that's what i thought that's why i checked on the river like he's definitely going to have some some two pairs and stuff in that situation so yeah i think that turned out really nice going for the the check raise on the river okay so we've Flop top pair here, got a good kicker as well. Not got any clubs on board. So he decides to go for a, a half pot sizing. I'm going to actually go for a raise here. Nice, we just take that one down. So I usually do play in blinds, but as sometimes people like watching at the higher stakes with, with sort of the larger money, I'm going to try alternate a bit between the money and blinds here. Gonna go for a larger sizing on this one here, 75%. Uh, Just take it down on the flop. Oh, Kings, hopefully you get some action. Okay, nice, we see an open from, oh, this is good, because looks as though, you know, I'm going for a squeeze here. Gonna go, obviously, for fairly large sizing with the three back, gonna go to 13 BBs. Thing is, now this guy folds, I can't, oh. I was about to say I can't see this guy this guy calling when he just flats so but he does shove guess I'll run it twice okay that's nice that we get one ace off the first board don't want to see any hearts there's no hearts no eight or ace nice we win both boards good stuff open up the tens from the cutoff see a fold from the small blind and button call cool from the big blind got second pair just gonna go for a smaller size in here obviously if we get check raised not folding this one okay so he does go for fairly small check raise obviously not folding yet and pretty clean turn card problem is though we do block some of his check raises like his, his jack tens his, his ten eights and stuff and he has started going a little bit bigger now on the turn. Thing is, he's still gonna have some some seven eights, and he's not gonna have any of the strongest queens. He can have some some nine queens and some six nine suited queen six, but I'm not folding this one yet. Oh, that's not the best of turn of uh, river cards though because obviously the 7-8 gets there now so yeah I'm not loving this I have to say I think I've probably just got a fold here he can definitely have some sets the thing is I block his some of his missed straights like his 10-8s his 10, eights, his ten jacks. So I having holding the tens here, I just don't think is the best because we, we block some of his missed draws. It's more likely he's gonna have seven eight than than, than ten eight. I think we've just got a fold on the river here with the tens. 
Also, I have gone for a little raise with the six foot. Wow, not a bad flop. I'm going to go for a check raise here. Okay, so he does just check, but he kind of snap check. This guy's been snap checking a lot of his weaker hands. But I will go for 75% sizing. Got loads of outs here. Uh, that's annoying. Um, I think this guy could definitely have some some pocket pairs. And I just don't know if he's folding. So I might just fire out a 10% river bet in case he just has a draw and folds. Uh, he does just shove. Looks as though like probably has a jack here to be honest. Okay, I've got kings on this other table here. We've got another player that's joined, sitting on about 50 big blinds, and then just this guy on like fully short stack. Okay, so we do get two calls and also a really nice flop. I think this is just warrants a small bet here. You know, he could have some some pocket pairs and stuff that he calls in the bit in the small blind. Gonna go for a 50% size in here. Hope to keep in some of his pocket pairs. And then obviously gonna be shoving this river. Hopefully he can look me up and find the call. But I think he's gonna have a lot of folds with his with his fours, his sixes here. But I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna time bank a little bit, make it look as though I'm sort of thinking about this against this player. But I'm gonna go all in. Yeah, he does just fold. Ace 10. Okay, so this guy just limps. If he's sitting on 11 big blinds, just going to shove this one. Happy to go. Okay, he's probably got a strong hand. King Jack. Run it twice. He's only on 11 big blinds. Just going to gonna take the risk this time. Hopefully we can win. Come on, just fade the river now. Yeah, good stuff. This guy just limps. 7-4, we've obviously got two pair. If he bets, I'm now going to go for a raise on the turn here. Hope to get calls from some spades, some jacks if he bets out. I think I'll just go for like a, a third sizing now on the river. This definitely could be a jack and a third sizing, he's probably going to call me down. <laughs> Gets there on the river. Pretty unfortunate. Okay, so we get a call from the big blind. This is actually a pretty good flop. Obviously got open ender. We got backdoor flush draw. So I am just going to bet small, but then I will be calling a check raise or possibly re-raising. But I'm going to be barreling and I'm 100% going to be barreling this turn. I might actually go for a big over bet actually on this turn. Yeah, good stuff. Obviously, not the greatest of flops for the ace king. Just gonna check, and yeah, that's that's pretty pretty bad now. We'll go for another raise, I think, with ace nine suited. See another call, and that is obviously. A really good flop. Gonna be betting this. Thing is, with the nine now, I yeah, I, I don't know how much benefit there is in continuing betting. Okay. That is really good river. I am actually kind of tempted to be sneaky here. Hope he has like some jack queens or some sets and hopefully he bets like the sets here. Obviously it'd be really annoying if he checks this one. But I'm, he, he definitely could have like eights, that's the thing. And he's always going to be betting eights. You know, he's always going to be betting fives, tens. And he, he could just have some random stuff that's missed here. Come on, let's go. Yes. Wow, what a play that was on the river there. That was huge. Man, I'm so happy with that play on the river. I just thought the check there was such a good spot. We'll call the A7 suited, I think. <laughs> Meant to say 8-7 as well. And I'll just check, I think. Oh, that's a really good turn card now. This is a card as well where he could be better. I was about to say where he could start betting big. So this is huge. 
definitely gonna I think I'll just call here okay that's such a clean river as well wow um snap check I feel like this is maybe just one where he's just giving up but I guess it's possible that maybe he thinks I have something like nine jack queen jack and he has king ace so honestly I think this is what like he wouldn't bet that size in on the turn with you know like a, a middle-ish hand so I think this could be something that he's just like trapping with and hoping I have you know a queen jack or something like that so I think going big here is kind of good yeah and he snaps it off king 10 come on that's huge I was gonna say like I may as well just go like really big there because he just goes for that snap check and he's just not doing that with any of his sort of middle value hands so going small doesn't make that much sense like if he's either just if it's either just a give up or it's one where he's trapping then I may as well go big with the eight there wow literally dominating at the moment got 20 20k on this table and this one I did lose a buy-in here but at the same time it, it is obviously deep I can buy him for 10k but I did just buy him for 5k uh, I am down a button well <laughs> What a flop. I'm seriously hitting these flops at the moment. And this is also really good because this is definitely one where he can just keep barreling because, you know, it's an ace-king ace king board and I just flatted rather than raising. Not the greatest of turn card, especially when he sort of went for that smaller sizing. However, I think just a check is good. I mean, there's not that much value in betting here. I'm literally just going to go for like a, a one big blind bet. Hopefully he just calls down with some random crap thinking I've got some missed clubs or something. So I forgot to do an outro during this video. But if you like this 5k an hour footage, make sure you like or give it a comment or something. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at Aces. Thanks for watching.